In the 1960s, Don Yanko emerged as one of the SCCA's top road racers, but Yanko became famous for what he did away from the racetrack. He took regular Chevy production cars and turned them into bona fide racing machines, selling them at his Pennsylvania car dealership. Not many were made and relative few still survive, making Yanko's some of the most sought after collector cars in the world. Today, four partners and their team are taking on a huge challenge. Build a replica 1969 Camaro that uses today's technology but remains faithful to the original. It's a gamble that could breathe new life into a legend. Welcome to Tulsa, home of brand new muscle car. In 1969, Chevrolet made about 198,000 Camaros. Don Yanko converted about 198 of those. That means about one one thousandth of a percent of those were Yanko Super Camaros, the rarest of the rare. Just try and find one today. And that's what makes this build so special. It's like taking a trip back in time for a chance to see what a brand new Yanko looked like 50 years ago. I need, I, need a, I need a car right there, this car. I need to look for the parts, I need, I need it. The sun's barely up and Martin has already discovered that some parts are missing. Looks like today's work might come to a halt before it even gets started. I mean, Martin will literally say, stop, I need this bolt. And I'm in the middle of 10 things and I'll say, now, now. And at first I used to fight it, now I just get up and do it. I just shrug, make a face, do it, because he'll stop. Yeah, but I need the brackets. He'll stop the whole process because he's got the wrong washer or the wrong nut or bolt or the wrong, you know, well, this is, a, this is the right bolt, but it could be stainless. Really? Sure we don't have the rear bumper brackets here somewhere? Well, it's sorry. just two, right? Left, right? Well, I got the same as 54. Right? Would have been the same on 54. All right. Well, let me go look for bumper brackets. Parts. Parts, parts, parts. Box radio. So for a room this small, you think it'd be easy to find all these pieces, but when you build a whole car from scratch, it'd be a little overwhelming. Should have found this already. My challenge as the parts guy is to not only get it right, but to get it in. Parts are getting delivered literally daily. Our UPS driver and our FedEx driver on a first name basis, when I just sign with my finger and they say, thanks Dave, it's a big responsibility to keep that right. And if they're wrong, I'm gonna do returns, get our money back, credit the customer, keep track of all the paperwork. So parts is a real mess as far as a challenge. I'm the only one that'll do it, so I do it. Well, the parts we need aren't here but I'll go back and look at my spreadsheet and the catalog and I'll make sure I ordered them. And if I didn't, I'll, I'll get them. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to want these. You might remember this from a couple of weeks ago. But you can bet Jared remembers it and he and Dustin are out to even the score. That didn't okay. scare me. Did that scare you? It didn't scare, oh, me. didn't scare me. Rookies? Yeah. Bunch of rookies over there. It didn't scare me. Okay, it's on. Oh. It's on. Oh, we're planning. It's body stuff against now. paint. Mm -hmm. I see the way it is. Bring it. <laughs> when we come back, Martin begins test fitting the grill, but maybe he ought to be worried about what the painters are plotting instead. We're gonna rock his world. Classic Industries presents brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro. Is brought to you by Will Wood Disc Brakes, high performance disc brakes in brake components. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day on auto parts and accessories. R3 Performance. Quality parts, attention to detail, and innovative design. And by Classic Industries. America's first choice in restoration and performance parts and accessories. Welcome back to the brand new muscle car shop. After a long search, it looks like David's scavenger hunt has paid off. Try to put him in again, the, 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 the rear bumper brackets. Oh, you found it? Yep. 
I knew if I just, I just needed a minute. It's too early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's a four-piece kit. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Yep. Lived in Chicago, had my father-in-law show me a couple pictures of some cars that he had worked on. And I mean, I was kind of impressed. And I always wanted to do it when I was a little kid, but didn't get the chance to. And as soon as he told me, I said, yeah, why not? You know, move, moved over here from Chicago. Gave a better life to my kids, plus ourselves. Uh, started off a career, basically. First time we put on the grill on this side, we got to cut a little bit of here, bring it a little bit forward. So we're gonna make a new hole because it needs to kind of basically go like right here. The rest of them were pretty good. One of the things that we spend a lot of time on is test fitting. So you'll notice as you watch the build, the car goes apart, together, apart, together. A lot of people would think it's frustrating to put a car together and pull it back apart that many times. In fact, sometimes I send pictures to customers and they ask, you know, what's going on? The car was together, now it's apart, now it's together, it's apart. And then I have to explain the process. It doesn't really bother me because I know what they're doing, but I do have to explain it quite a lot. For everything to be perfect, it takes a lot of trial and error. What do you think, moment of truth? Yes, let's do it. Try your piece. Yeah, I think it's a good time to fit everything. If I need to ream a little bit or clean up the metal, it's not going to stain. We really don't tighten them up all the way. So like that, if we need any movement, as we put in the rest of them, as we go along, we don't have to fight with it. So, just try to put the bumper. And see how he looks like. Meanwhile, the painters are very busy, but they're not exactly busy painting cars. Yeah. Do you have any yeah. rolls of firecrackers? Rolls of firecrackers? Yeah. Like black like cats? Yes. Like yes. Like I want to blow some crap up. Like I want to scare the crap out of Martin type firecrackers. I got it. Hey, yeah. yeah, I got some. I can get some. Okay. I need some like ASAP as soon as you can get them to me. Okay. I'm gonna, we're going to rock his world. Beauty. All right, all right. Yeah? Yeah, let me just put the, the nuts in on that. Oh, gotta pinch my finger a little bit. Well, I think it looks good. Oh, yeah, it looks real good. Yeah. Everything's down the center. Yeah, Hey, I need to bring the horn. I got the horn. What horn? Well, the train is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those little blow horns are amazing. We got the office girl where she did the whole. <laughs> she was hilarious, dude. Let me trade the, the lights in the bottom. Okay. Right there. Right there. Like, you can either one or or. Okay. The hole that's too separated. Uh, so I need to go in? Yeah. Can you see? Ah, beautiful. It is perfect doing it right now and now later when it's paint. That's what I like to check everything first. <laughs> Not like the ones that weld everything and then they're banging it when it's painted. So now I know when these guys paint it, I don't need to scratch, I don't need to grind it or do anything. Man, it's starting to look like a car. Yeah. Very good. Looks good. Huh? Looks good. Another thing done. Let's go. Hey, Dave. I like it how you're working, guys, so freaking so hard. hard. Man! Hey, we discussing hey. oh, we were discussing the process. How long is it going to take you to get your Act. Ah, hey. action. Actually, Don't think it. Action. I was working on the computer. They're interrupting me. No. Let him, hey. Since your process. Let him, let him work, please. Yeah. Look at this. There's, there's a difference hey. in you guys. Hey. I go and knock. Hey. Not think. Just so you know, you done, Just so you know. Just I so just you know. already you done. done yes. Painters done. always yeah. wait on the body man. Yes. Always. Always. 
You know, that's what I hate, David. <laughs> These guys, they think so much, they never hack. They say you should be careful what you wish for. Martin wants action from the painters, and it looks like that's their plan. Photos and documents shown on brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro, courtesy of Mark Gillespie. For even more about Don Yanko and the supercars that made his dealership famous, look online for the Yanko era and the Yanko era continued Cannonsburg and beyond. Welcome back to Tulsa, the home of brand new muscle car. Jared is hosing out a customer's car, and he's also hatching out an evil plan. Meanwhile, as the body guys start to test fit the trunk, they suspect nothing. I think he needs a little bit of adjustment, right? <laughs> I almost put my hand in there. They want us a little bit high, so I need to move up. That one, the highest in here is fine. That one is a little bit low, and I need to pull him for, the, for my right side. Okay. Hey. What do you think we should like try to say like a bolt came loose or something? Yeah, we could say something like that. No. Let's 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 go loose this. So I'm just gonna talk to you and act like I act like I knocked some mondo loose. Yeah. I think he goes a lot, no? Mm-hmm. I mean I did feel the move though. Right this is the thing where you like building cars and doing cars or, or restoring cars because you like it. Yeah, you need to make money, but the more important it is is when you like, you like the cars too. Just like how we used to say when I was younger playing soccer, think this is a game, this is life. Yes, life. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I like it because not like other people that I've seen when you tear down a car gas or bundle that they put because they don't take their time to work the metal. That one is called experience. That's what I'm learning from you. <laughs> the best. No, I'm not the best. Well, to me it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's only bring the striker. Sounds good to me. And I'll back up a little bit and I'll just shoot him. Oh, I need to go inside to see what's going on. You need to carry me. <laughs> Do you see this? Okay. Cool. Okay, up, down. <laughs> I see what is the problem. I think the lash is not working because that one is like supposed like right there. You know what? All the way down. You see? Yeah. Now it's working. Yeah. Give me this one. Much better. The gap wise is good, it still needs to go down a little bit. Okay, give me a second. Tell him. I think he knows. I know. We're gonna get him anyway. Whew. You see? He looks a little bit down, right? But the moment I put the, the gasket, good. it is fine, it is perfect. Papo! Martin! Oh, maybe a kicker. Look, give me a second, Tony. I knocked a chunk of Bondo loose. Right there, right here on that side. I'm just doing this so I don't get him wet. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to tell you, you did a good job. I love it. Hey, what is the score? Is it one to one? It looks awesome. Just to let you know, it was Tony's idea. <laughs> Logistics is one of the biggest challenges for a small shop. Moving parts and even whole cars from station to station can be a challenge, but it's easier if you have the right tools. For years, what we've done, like everybody else, is bought the really, really cheap parts racks, the really, really cheap dollies, and the problem is they're almost disposable. You use them for a few cars, a few months, they're broken, they wear out, you gotta throw them away. Um, with DJS, again, I don't know that I'll live long enough to see these break. They're that well made. 
Well, what we really focused on was the wheels and the casters. Each wheel's rated for 1,000 pounds, real heavy-duty build, and it's a basic wheel dolly, but there's a lot more you can do with ours. We have different attachments for it, you know, for the pinch weld and for the hub. We also have different rocker adapters. Some of the European models have different holes at the jack point, like BMW or Mercedes. We got one for Corvette that was approved by GM that actually go up into the car and lock in there and fit down into our pinch weld on our dolly. So it really gives you a very secure way to move even some of those higher end vehicles around. We also have car parts racks, three shelves. On the back, we got room for bumpers as well. So a lot of those even smaller parts that you're taking off, different clips and bulbs, things like that, they'll fall through some of the other part carts out there. But with ours, everything stays on the fine mesh on our shelves. It's a nice solution to keep everything organized and in one spot. Everything folds up real quickly. They nest together. It really saves you some space in your shop. We also have paint room threshold ramp. The car's on the dolly. You can roll the car right in. If you have a chief frame machine, we have plates that go up on there that'll give you a nice flat surface to roll the car up. We also make a truck bed dolly that uses the same wheels as our car dollies. Makes it so much easier. One of the things we like about the UGS product is after trying it, we're thinking about using it as our standard transportation system around the shop. So instead of using cheap wheels and tires, we're going to use the dollies. Put every car in a dolly, it's going to stay there all the way to the end, at the very end of the process. Six, eight months later, it'll get real wheels and tires, but not till the end. When we come back, Martin's a perfectionist and he's making more changes. Uh oh, what happened? Classic Industries presents brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro is brought to you by Champion Cooling Systems, High Performance Aluminum Radiators, Heat Shield Products, America's High Performance Insulation, CMAX, the one product for your engine, transmission, and fuel system, and by Brand New Muscle Car, building yesterday's dream cars today. When parts come from different manufacturers, they don't always fit together perfectly. And no one knows that better than Martin and Tony. We're going to bring the light. Go up. I need to kick him a little bit. Okay. <laughs> And the plastic is already hitting my head too. Enough, enough hit him in there. This one is not in the center, so it is too... Too to the right? Yeah, to the right, so... And then this one, he needs to go more to the... To the right, so it's not in the center. I'm, I'm hitting already. Well, you're giving us a little bit more, but we just hit it. So bring me the hammer and a dolly. It's still hitting right here. That one is that way. This way it's not fitting an outside. I think I need to take out the bracket and try to move it a little bit this way. So right here, right next, uh, we got all the spy wheels off on top and the bottom, and the inside part of it. Towards the end, when it connects to the quarter panel that it actually doesn't have spot wheels, it's kind of like they would have kind of tack welded, a nice, good, fat tack weld. So now we got to kind of grind that off so we could be able to pull out this whole pocket right there. Okay, Tony. Uh-oh, what happened? Huh? 
I need I need to move the bracket for the light. It's not, it's not fit right. Tack, tack. Is that plastic? No, the good part is like he got spot welds. The good part is the welder. Who show you? <laughs> well, actually, I actually knew how to weld before I got here, so. Nah. That's, that's the only one you can't take from me. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. I see you. Uh huh. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, the tail light's fitting now. Let's try the bumper. No more welding, no more grinder, no more dreamer. Beautiful. I think he, it's everything is like. I don't need to worry no more. Latch, the striker is done, tail lights, bumper. Looks good? Pretty good to me. Yeah. Another thing done. Let's go to lunch. Next time. Martin's old school methods mean the painters need to be patient. And we show you one of the 50 year old Yanko Camaros that inspired this brand new muscle car build. I think it's more than one to half. I don't, I we know, need I don't, more. We gotta get more. We need to, we do, need to do a two for one scale, right? Need, so yeah. for every one that they get us, we, get we gotta them do two. two. So now we're, we're almost caught up. So we're halfway to caught up. We'll have to do something tomorrow. Let me think on that. Oh, yeah. You know we can get him up something. He's got to go to the bathroom someday. Oh, that one?